We know who the real heavyweights are in the West. Three titles in four years. How far away now are the Lakers from Golden State? They're two seasons. This season, they'll make the playoffs. They should advance. And if they get another piece, they should advance plenty. But they're not going to beat Golden State, I don't think, first year out. The following season, provided they get Kawhi Leonard by hook or by crook, either by trade now or particularly in Stephen A's scenario, if they simply sign him and, and retain their young developing pieces, I, I, I think they beat Golden State the very next year. Guys, recall that Golden State, a 73-win team, but very much the kind of postmodern, you know, ball handler is also the scorer, Steph Curry spacing the floor, Draymond Green, the big plays, five out, like the prototypical postmodern team, if you will. That still doesn't beat those dominant two-way wings. I brought it up in the last segment. 73-win team lost to a LeBron James Cleveland Cavaliers team, and as great as Kyrie Irving is, he ain't Kawhi Leonard. You put Kawhi, Kawhi is like a souped-up Scottie Pippen in the sense that he plays defense just as well, but he's an even more efficient offensive player. You give LeBron James his Scottie Pippen, but that dude's bigger and better, or at least better, and you have more parts because they didn't get Paul George, but who's to say they won't wind up with Kenba Walker or I mentioned Clint Capella or someone else really good or Ingram and Kuzma, one of those two develop into a real good player. I'm sorry. It took the Warriors adding that great two-way wing to that team to overcome LeBron. LeBron and Kawhi together will not be denied. And if they get Kawhi, the Warriors have this year coming up, but not the following one. The Lakers will win that year, 2019. It's interesting because, obviously, um, I believe that the Warriors are, to, uh, are the favorites to win it all next year again. I don't think anybody can beat them. But it's not as far off as you think. It's not beyond the pale that ball, the, the Golden State Warriors could get knocked off next year. We got to remember we saw some vulnerability in the Golden State Warriors this past season. We saw uh, injuries uh, to Kevin Durant at one point, Klay Thompson at another, obviously Steph Curry. We saw that. We also saw uh, teams figuring them out, but just knowing that you really, really couldn't stop them because they were offensively explosive. But the run for their money that was given to them by the Houston Rockets, if Houston could push you to seven games, if they could blow you out a game or two in the series or what have you, who's to say that the Lakers can? Particularly when you look at the, uh, the Western Conference and you look at Portland, Utah, Oklahoma City, New Orleans, Minnesota, Etc. You've got these teams going on. The Lakers are right in the middle of all of that. The West is certainly a situation where you can beat up, you can beat each other up, and somehow, some way, you can force someone to appear to be more vulnerable than they've ever been in the past. And so, even though I'm going to give the uh, Golden State Warriors the edge and believe that again they should be the prohibitive favorite, and it's undeniable. What I'm not going to let go of is the possibility that they could get knocked off this upcoming year. We can talk about Kawhi, all right, but the reality of the situation is, is that when you look at some of these other teams, it might not be necessary. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised at all if I found the Los Angeles Lakers in a conference finals against the Golden State Warriors next year because I think the loss of Trevor Ariza in Houston is going to be huge. Losing him, you lose a guy that could spot up and shoot, but he's also one of your elite defenders. And I think that you can't underestimate the significance of his loss. So it could get very, very interesting in the West. I'm going to give Golden State the edge. I'm not refuting anything that you're saying, Max. I just don't think it's as simple as you try to make it out to be because I think a lot well, could happen Max, to the Warriors this upcoming Before season. you jump in, I just want to add this to piggyback on your point, Stephen A. I have Westgate, uh, Las Vegas, their odds here. They have the Warriors as the favorites, obviously 10 to 11. Then Celtics and Lakers tied for 7 to 2, followed by the Rockets. So I found that surprising. They feel like they obviously have a shot to be well, in the finals there as well. I definitely think the Lakers well, I, and the I, Boston Celtics are on the same on the same level with looking up at Golden State, but Boston's right there. I think Boston is ahead of them right now. I think as I like Ingram and Kuzma a lot. I think Lonzo, if he gets the shot, is a real good player. Other parts of his game is already are already very advanced for his age and his experience. But the Boston Celtics guys, the starting five, if they do nothing else, Kyrie, Hayward, Jalen Brown, Tatum, Al Horford. It's ridiculous. And right now, the only reason we'd even consider the Lakers in the same 
you know, uh, level around the Boston Celtics is because that's how much better LeBron James is than every other player in the world. Like, the comparison of the other players to him is hilarious to me. He is worth, I, almost literally, I believe, two other superstars. For example, the Thunder have Paul George and Russell Westbrook. Who has a better chance, you think, next year? LeBron James or Paul George and Russell Westbrook. Houston has Chris Paul and James Harden, not to mention Capella and others. I don't know that I like Houston better than I like the Lakers with LeBron James next year. He alone is so much better than the rest of the league. Now, he'll be in decline one of these years, you'd think. But at this moment, that his presence on a team, and by the way, other than Kevin Love, the rest of this Lakers roster is better than the rest of that Cleveland roster was. So I understand why people are very high on the Lakers. But he's going to need more to challenge the Warriors this upcoming season, and maybe even the Rockets this upcoming season. They get Kawhi, I'll, ch I'll sing another tune. But at this moment, mm. not quite. I would say the biggest threat to the Warriors are the Boston Celtics coming out of the East right now. Stephen A., what if they got Boogie? Who? The Lakers. Means if nothing. If they didn't get Kawhi, what if not, they got Boogie? Because, because, he, because he means nothing. Because he may not play till January. He's coming off an Achilles injury. And you got to remember, even when healthy, he wasn't a stout defender. Uh, you know, he wasn't one of those guys that was mobile enough to get a lot of things done. Uh, we can talk more about that later. But I would just tell you that Boogie Cousins in L.A., I think they should try to get him on a cheap. Uh, but in terms of what kind of difference he would make, I think that's the year after, not next season.